Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about The Flash, episode number 14, Attack of Central City. This episode is directed by um, Dermot Downs. And in this episode here, we have, well, Gorilla Grodd, he's back. And Gorilla Grodd, he is um, voiced by David um, Sabaloff. And he, uh, Gorilla Grodd wants to get his revenge. He, he tried to get it before, it didn't work. So he had another plan. He, he brainwashed Gypsy, took over, took over her mind, and he forced her to open up a portal back to Central City so he could lead his guerrilla army to pretty much kill all the humans. Because, see, Gorilla Grodd had a bad experience with humans. He'd been tested, he'd been tested on, mutated, and changed from what he used to be, and he's pissed off. He's angry. He's mad. So now he wants to get his revenge. And left the Flash and the rest of the crew to stop this from happening. And also try to fix the future so Iris won't die. See, the messed up part is, Barry's starting to feel, well, like he has no choices anymore. Because like, no matter what he does, no matter what, what plan he sets in motion, the, the future seems it still keeps on happening. No matter how much he tries to get a step ahead of it, no matter how much he tries to fix it, the future that he saw looks like it's still going to happen. He saw Iris going to. He saw Iris dying, and everything that led up to that moment seems to be still in place. And he's starting to feel like, well, maybe I should do something a little bit darker. Maybe I should change the way I do things. Maybe the way I do things isn't the right way. And his idea is to fix this situation is by killing Gorilla Grodd. He said, maybe if I kill Gorilla Grodd. He won't attack anymore, and I would save so many people, and it might change the future. So what? I took a life, but I saved yours, and I saved the city. So is it that really that bad? I mean, Oliver kills people all the time. He still be still functioning. Maybe I could do the same thing too. I had powers. I could take this guy out. That's all I gotta do, and it saves us all. Him, it save us all the problems. He won't come back no more. And the city will be saved. And maybe, possibly, by killing him, it might even save you too. Yes. So you got that going on. And then you have a, a more of a personal story. You have Wally and Jesse. And they want, and Jesse decided to stay with Wally. And so they could be a couple. Which is beautiful. And they, and, and Wally and Jesse tell, tell um, Henry Wells, Dr. Wells, what's up? They tell him that, that they're in love and they want to stay together. And, and Henry acted like everything's okay. He said, you know what? If you make my daughter happy, I'm cool. And then I just, wow, that was amazing. You didn't throw a throw a fit. You didn't get upset. You didn't yell. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. I love you, baby. If this boy is the one you chose and he makes you happy, then I'm happy for you. And, well, I guess it's all good then. High fives for everybody. Yay! And then... He says, Wally, I need your help on a project because you have an engineering mind and you can help me fix, make, make something. And Wally like this, sure, whatever, boss. We're on the same page. And then Wells does something that is so horrible. He plays the I'm dying card. He tells Wally he's extremely sick. He doesn't have much time left. And, but... As long as my daughter is happy with you, everything's okay. So, go, go ahead and take over, take over my daughter, even though I'm dying. And, and while it is, oh, crap. Oh, my gosh, you're dying. Oh, oh, my God, my mama died. I know how that feels. I, and she, so, he goes, he goes to Jesse, all upset and all miserable. His face is all messed up. She says, what's wrong with you? And she says, you know what? I don't think you should stay with me. I think we made a mistake. I think you should spend the rest of your, spend as much time as you can with your father while he, while you can still, while he's still able. I says, what? Stay with your father. He needs you right now. He's going through a hard time. He may not say it, but he needs you. Says, what are you talking about? I says, your dad's sick and he's, well, he's dying, baby. Says, My dad's dying. Oh, sweet gravy. You know, I like Wells, and even though he can be a pain in the butt, and he can be a little, a little bit arrogant, he thinks he knows more than everybody, that's, that is true. But, this was just wrong. To f act like you're dying so you can keep make your daughter stay with you, that's really messed up. Wow. 
But the funny part was, they barely even, t after that little little confrontation, they, they didn't talk about it no more. That was kind of weird. But overall, another great episode. Really did enjoy it a whole lot. Interesting to see where this show is going. Watching Molly deal with the fact that maybe taking, about, maybe, causing down line of taking a life, making that decision. And watching how his people, how the people who would react to that and try to help them through the situation is interesting. Um, I like Gypsy on the show, played by Jessica on Camacho. I really do like her, and I like and I like her with um Cisco as well. I think they make a great couple. I don't know if she's gonna be coming back anytime soon in the future, but while she's on the show, I did enjoy her performance. Another thing about this episode I really did like was the CGI. The CGI has come a long way from from, from the show first started. And the, and the CGI on the gorillas looked amazing. Look, 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 fantastic. There was a, they, they did a close up um, um, Salivar. And Salivar is voiced by um, Keith David. They did a close up on Salivar's face. And, and, and you can see all the wrinkles in, in his eyes and all his brow and it frowned up when he got angry. And the, this, the detail looked fantastic. I mean, you can still tell the CGI. It's not fooling you, but it looks quite amazing for what they have done, for, for, especially for TV. And I, I, I really did appreciate it a lot. I thought, wow, it looked pretty good. But so that's just like always, it was fun. It, was, it had some funny moments too, especially just, I, I love the scenes with Cisco and um, Gypsy and they're talking to one another and Cisco like flirting, flirting with her. I, I love those scenes. They were, they were quite amazing. And this, this the overall picture, a whole lot of fun. So, if you haven't watched The Flash, I said check out The Flash, watch it for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy and have fun watching it too. And if you, and if you have already watched this episode, leave, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about it. Because overall, I really did enjoy it. So that pretty much all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up. Mm, boom! And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and in my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. A peace out of peoples.